the ACLU is extremely proud to have worked with Christopher Sharp to my right in this pathbreaking First Amendment case. We are so grateful to Chris for his for being a champion of civil rights. But also, the process was long. It was extremely difficult at times. And Chris had the perseverance uh, to take it and then, and then make sure that he could demonstrate clearly the power of an individual when he or she takes a stand against law enforcement um, overreaching and abuse of authority. And this case started out as a small case in Baltimore City Circuit Court. Um, and then the city transferred it to federal court. And shortly thereafter, it was transformed into uh, a matter of national importance when the United States Department of Justice weighed in with its first ever statement on the issue of citizens' rights to photograph uh, police officers. And the Department of Ju Justice's um, issu issuance of this helpful guideline actually brought enormous attention to Chris's case and to the important civil rights issue. But I think the good news is that it also helps, helped us um, and, and Commissioner Batts at the same time. Because the case became a vehicle to assist the police in protecting the rights of citizens as well as public safety. Um, and it also gave Maryland law enforcement the opportunity to become a national leader uh, in this area of constitutional law. As a result of this settlement, the Baltimore Police Department is putting into place a policy on citizen recording, citizens recording of police, as well as a police training program that will be a model for the nation. And we thank Commissioner Batts for his leadership, uh, his personal leadership in working with the ACLU to resolve this case and also to develop this new policy. And I think we also pledge to you to do whatever we can to make the, in the enforcement of it because sometimes these things are hard, but we're, we're there with you. The ACLU also thanks, and I want to personally thank, the attorneys from, the pro bono attorneys, the volunteer attorneys from Wiley Ryan for their years of hard work on this case. Um, they are emblematic of the fact that these cases don't get resolved, cannot be resolved without private attorneys general, without members, generous members of the bar who come, who step forth and, and work with uh, organizations like the ACLU in, in bringing, um, bringing justice. So thank you very much.